new business. Consideration of fiscal year 2009-2010 budget ordinance. Phyllis. Thank you, Councilman Therby. Um, on April the 14th, we provided you with proposed budget, uh, which has been on, available for the public to view since that time. We've had two public hearings. Um, one is required, but City Council chose to have two. We um, have also made revisions after, based on conversations with Council, all the revisions that were requested, and all of that's been incorporated into the budget ordinance that you have before you. And the major change, um, if you'd like me just to go through them real quickly, the changes that were made, certainly. Okay, um, we've reclassified one detective position to be a narcotics sergeant. We have um, provided funding for the Halifax County Hazardous Mitigation Plan, the city's share of $6,800. We, have add, we had already added one additional firefighter based on instruction from council earlier this year. So we didn't have to make a change for that, but just want to let you know it is in there as council had directed. Public Works Director and I went to the Sanitary District and spoke with the, um, the officials there and informed them that as of July 1, we would no longer be handling their utility cuts and the savings for that is incorporated into your budget. There is a 25% increase in the fees for the Kirkwood Adams Community Center and a portion of that money is being used, well actually all of that money is being used to fund part-time salaries to be used at the Kirkwood Adams Community Center for events. There's been a fee increase for the planning department which provides $11,600 in additional revenue. That revenue is being uh, used, $8,000 of it, to um, hire a part-time administrative assistant for the plan department, and the city will use its RIF policy, it's in the personnel policy, and that's how we'll go about deciding who gets the position. We'll offer it first to those people who lost their job um, in March, the full-time administrative assistants first, and then any part-time people that lost their jobs, and then we'll go from there. But we hope to be able to bring back someone who lost their job earlier. Then there's a, a waiver of rental fees for the Boys and Girls Club for the upcoming year. And um, when all those changes are made in order to balance this budget, we did have to reduce the amount that we were replenishing our fund balance, but only by a little over $2,400. So um, we feel like this is still a very good budget. Okay. Phil, something like that. <clears throat> did we finally get the money for doing the spraying that we were talking about? Yes, sir. The money for spraying for uh, July 1 through next June 30th is in this budget. And then the next item on your agenda is going to be a budget amendment to provide funding for this current year. Okay. Yes, sir. Any questions for the city manager? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hearing there are no questions, the action tonight will be to consider a motion to adopt as presented or make changes to the fiscal year 2009-2010 budget ordinance. And um, I believe this is our third reading. And all the input that has been given by the citizens, I've had a chance to do that at this time. So with that in mind, what's the pleasure of the board? Mr. Mayor, I move that we adopt the budget as presented by the city manager. Okay. have a motion to adopt the budget ordinance as presented. Third reading. Do we have a second? Second. Motion to second. Any further discussions? All in favor of the adoption say aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Aye, seven. Motion carry. Budget adopted. Thank you. Again, we want to 
mayor's not here, but I'm sure he would say again that we want to thank you guys, everybody, for their hard work and, and uh, making this possible. As, as everyone already knows, it has been a tough year. Uh, we want to do a special thanks to Phyllis for, for really uh, working extra hard to try to make this happen. And again, uh, we hope that next year and uh, the meeting says in the near future will we'll change. Uh, there have been some changes in the economy a little bit, and hopefully it's, it's uh, beginning to turn just a little. So maybe next year it'll, and as we go along, it'll, it'll change.